nine, Conor McGregor is just slightly taller than the average featherweight inside UFC's top 10 rankings. But with a wingspan that's five inches longer than his height, a proportionally larger wingspan than LeBron James, he's had a reach advantage over all of his UFC opponents in the featherweight division. And even with these long arms, McGregor is capable of throwing a straight left that can land in as little as 15 hundredths of a second. That's about as fast as we clocked Manny Pacquiao throwing that same punch, even though McGregor's extends about three inches farther. These quick hands and reach advantage allow McGregor to produce knockout blows of up to 700 pounds of force. Now when McGregor fights as a welterweight, he packs on 23 additional pounds, or about the weight of a typical car tire. And with more mass throughout his kinetic chain, he's capable of punching with about 100 more pounds of force. But in this weight class, his opponents also possess about one and a half more pounds of muscle mass in their necks. And studies show that compared to his featherweight counterparts, Fighters the size of Nate Diaz can use these large neck muscles to better stabilize their head during impact. In fact, with better stabilization, a bigger opponent can reduce impact force from a punch by 30%. For ESPN Sports Science, I'm John Brinkus.